Hey everyone, Luke here, aka Stone Mosaic, and I'm here with another comic review. This time of Midnight Mover, which you can't see because of the library sticker, but this is uh, this was a four issue um, mini series written by Gary Phillips and drawn by Jeremy Love. Um, it was originally published, I think, by, by Oni Press. Um, and I wasn't really sure what to expect from this series. Um, I think I had read. Um, I read something else by Gary Phillips. I forget if I had um, reviewed that as well, but this wasn't really that great. This is sort of a crime story involving um, uh, a dead called girl escort. I'm not sure uh, what exactly, what term you would, you, you'd, uh, I want to call her, but her driver basically um, uh, gets involved in this, uh, in this mystery where he's trying to evade the cops who believe that he killed her because she because he, he burst into the house where she was, and she's on the bed, dead, with a, with a knife in her chest. Um, and um, this story was only four issues long, but it felt a lot longer. I'm not sure if these were double-sized issues or something like that, but it, it felt really, really long. And um, there are a whole myriad of, of, a, of a problems here. Um, um, you have the dialogue, which is just really, really bad. Um, a lot of spelling errors I noticed, just really bad stuff that, like, if, if you said it out loud, you, you would just sound ridiculous. And I know that comic book dialogue isn't supposed to be um, this, this or realistic or something that is supposed to be said out loud, because it's something that you read on the page and you aren't really saying aloud, like, like, in, a, like in a film or a TV show. But it, it's, it's just really bad, and, and the uh, the, uh, the main character, the guy who was on the run, just disappears after the third issue. Doesn't see him for the last issue, which is taken up by a lot of unrelated characters that just also get introduced. It's just not really very good at all. I don't know if the first three issues were supposed to be one story, and then the fourth was supposed to start the next part of the story, and it got cut off. I don't really know what happened. But uh, if if you I actually wanted to read this book if what I'm saying hasn't really dissuaded you. The art is pretty good. The style is sort of similar to what uh, J-Bone does with his art, kind of, kind of um, angular kind of style to it. So that was probably the best, but it, it isn't really that interesting. Um, this is a uh, mature reader's book, so there's quite a few um, things in there about the adult film industry, some graphic stuff, and... Um, just but there's just so there's so much poor writing and not there's no real world sort of development it sort of goes it starts going one place but after that that third issue everything just sort of sort of just falls apart basically and it's it just isn't a very good book so i'll probably give it i'm forgetting uh how many stars i'm giving i i'll probably give it two out of five it has good art but it's not really good in any other respect not really that great. Um, I don't know if it's just Gary Phillips or if it's just this book, but there, there, there are a couple other things that I want to read of his. And and if those are all bad, too, I'll know that I'm, I'm just not a really fan of his. Apparently, he's, he's a crime fiction writer, which is a genre that I like, but uh, I'm not liking what I've read so far of his. But I, I, and I just can't think of the name of what the other what the other series was I read of his. I want to say that I read something. But anyway, enough of that. Um... Next video, I'm going to be um, reviewing something that I I heard about because of the artist, as Jim Henson's Tale of Sand. It's done by uh, Ramon K. Perez, and I saw this, this really interesting documentary you should check out. It's on uh, the Raid Studio in uh, Toronto, which has a bunch of different artists like um, Ramon Perez, who I mentioned, Francis Manipal, who's on uh, D Detective Comics right now, Marcus Toe. Two, I don't forget, I forget exactly what, what, how you pronounce his name, um, and, but, and a bunch of other artists working in the studio and, and shows their, their process, their camaraderie of you know, working together and sort of encouraging one another in their in their processes and you know, pushing themselves to, to become better artists. And Ramon Perez was, was one of those artists. And I saw some of his art featured there, and uh, I think it was mentioned that that's one of the things he he had um, that he had done. And so I checked it out from the library, and that's going to be my next review, so hopefully I'll like that more than I liked uh, Midnight Mover, but uh, in the meantime, happy reading, everyone.